In this video I'll show you how to turn a, um, your pictorial drawing that you've done into the orthographic. Now we shouldn't have to worry about this, but at this stage you should have, just click on there, you should be in the, um, oh, here we are, there we are, the format room, you've got to be millimetres in position, but I guess if you haven't got that there, you're too late by now. Okay. Now at this moment I've called this one cam practice. Now I'm going to be changing that because once I do this drawing I'm going to lose that this drawing that I've got. So I'm going to save as and give it a different name. Put it in there. And I'll just call it the orthographic. If you see down the bottom of the thing here, it's asking for a name. Orthographic. Okay, save that. And that just means that your previous drawing now it's up on the top right hand, top left here it says orthographic. Your previous drawing is there still as it was before. Okay, now first step, I'm going to collect the whole thing. Okay, select the whole thing and make the whole thing one group. So make a group and that's there. Now I'm just going to zoom out a little. Bring that down. We'll do there. Now I'm going to make a copy of it. So I'll make a copy of that. That whole group. And move that up. Put one directly above it. And I'm going to make another copy. Now this is just a bit funny here. That doesn't seem to be a group yet. I'll try again. Make a group. That's better. Group. Okay, so that looks fine now. I'm not sure what happened before. And then I'm going to make another copy of that and push that over there. And so to remember to make a copy, you use the Move tool, and then on the Mac, you touch the Option button, it'll make a copy. And if you're on one of the other computers, it's the bottom left-hand key. I'm not sure what it's called. All right, so I've got that. Now I'm going to go to my Rotate tool. And this is where it gets a bit tricky. I want to rotate this one here. Now I want it to be on the green axis. So there, click, bring it out, and I'm going to swing it around. Make sure that the right one's selected. Try again. This one. Rotate green. Bring it out and swing it around 90 degrees. Got it. Now this one. And same deal there. Rotate 90 degrees. So this time I want it to be on the blue one. Sorry, make sure I get this right. So I might just start that again. Blue. And swing that around 90 degrees. Okay. Now it looks a bit odd, but if I come over here now to these ones where it has the different seams, and see how it's got these ones here that's looking down on top of it, which is no good. That one. Now that one looks pretty close to what I might want. Yeah, I might go for that one, I think. But see how it's got the three views there? Now, yours is probably going to look like that because it's in perspective. I'd already changed mine before. So when you're in this scene section, you go to this one and you turn it into two dimensions, two dimensional, and it's just all square. Now, just might move this one a little bit closer. And I'll move that one down a little bit too. Not too close because we've got to fit some measurements in there yet, but that will do there. Now the other thing I'm going to change now, I'm going to go to the styles, which is under this one. And I'm going to change it to this one. So, so when you turn up, you'll probably have it like that. So you go to the default styles, and this one's called X-Ray. Just wait for it to pop up. Now you see what happens now when it changes. You can see all the internal detail of what we've drawn. All right, so I'll get rid of that. Now these axes, I don't want them because they just get in the way. So I go to my glasses here and I turn the axes off. Right, and then you've got your drawing there. If I just click outside of it, there's the three views. Now we need to put some dimensions in. So and I'll, I'll just put a few in here so you can see how to do it, but you maybe put five or six over the whole drawing. And maybe if I want to show the length of that piece of timber. <coughs> Excuse me. A bit of the top. And maybe I might put 
at the yam. From there to there to show how that to show how how, how far up that hole was. Now I might leave it at that, but you can see how to put the dimensions on. And the last thing I'll need to do is put some subtitles in. So it's using this one, text, in there. That's called the top view. Just enter that. This one's called the front view. <coughs> and the front view and top view are always together. Because this is on the right side, it's <clears throat> it's the right side view. But I might just call it the side view. Since it's your first attempt at orthographics. So you've got that. Once you've got that done, you then take a screenshot of it. And that is your orthographic drawing. So you, you get as much detail, get as much dimensions as you can. But if you're finding it really confusing, just get as much as you can. I just noticed something. See down here where I've got that 60 on there? I don't like that. So what I'll do is go delete that. Come on. I don't know why it won't let me delete it. But what I was going to do is move that and just move that line further out so that that 60 wasn't in the middle of the line. The internet must be playing up. It's just not letting me do it at the moment. Okay, don't worry. Anyway, that'll be fine. Good luck with yours.